I hope you're doing good. And for today's video, I will discuss to you my chosen viruses in plant and in human. So, let's get started. This is my chosen virus in plant, Lettuce Mosaic Virus. Lettuce Mosaic Virus is found in any parts of the world and causes dwarfing, defective heating and molding or yellowing with some necrosis and distortion of the leaves of affected. Lettuce Mosaic Virus is a typical putivirus, the genus is putivirus and the family is putivaritae, which causes one of the major virus diseases of lettuce crops worldwide. Lettuce mosaic virus is a seed borne to a low but significant rate up to 1 to 10 percent of the seeds produced by an infected mother plant germinate into infected seedlings. The characteristic of the lettuce mosaic virus shows several symptoms such as mosaic, dwarfism, yellowing, welting, and failure to form heads. In order to protect lettuce crops, both genetic resistance and virus-free seed are generally used in the field. Lettuce mosaic virus to the growth of plant are very bad because the leaves are molted with yellow, white, and light and dark green spots, which appears to be elevated. This gives the leaves a blister-like appearance. Once or often stoned or they grow poorly, plants may have other deformities and their leaves may be crinkled or wavy. Pathogenesis is a virus that is seed borne in all types of lettuce except in life. It is the result of infected seeds, although weed hosts are carries, and the disease can be vectored by aphids which spread the virus throughout the crop and into nearby flora. There are two ways attempted to control and prevent the lettuce mosaic virus. Number one is your way is by testing for the virus in seed and then planting the uninfected seeds. Testing is done in three different ways. First is direct creating of lettuce seeds. The second is inoculation of seed in an indexing host. Or number three is through a serological technique. The goal is to only sell the plant and infected seed per 30,000 seeds tested. The second lettuce mosaic control method is the incorporation of virus resistance into the seed itself. This virus had a very bad impact because it loses as a result of poor quality products and lower yield. This impact can particularly seriously affect developing countries which are more likely to be dependent on agricultural production to ensure food security for the population. In addition to economic importance of um, lettuce mosaic virus, the large biological diversity of the differences between the biological properties of isolated symptoms, seed transmission, behavior towards um, genes make it a very good model to study plant virus interactions, both host and pathogen perspectives. Now, let's talk about the virus in human, smallpox virus. What is smallpox? Smallpox is a double-stranded 135 to 375 kilobase DNA virus that replicates in the cytoplasm of the host cell and forms B-type inclusion bodies or Guarnieri bodies. This is in contrast to herpes viruses, which replicate in the nucleus. Smallpox is a highly contagious and deadly disease caused by the variola virus. 
it was estimated to have infected 300 million people in the 20th century before it became the only human infectious disease ever to be completely eradicated. Smallpox is transmitted to the host via infection by the variola virus. The point of entry for the injection typically resides um, in the respiratory mucosa, although the virus may enter through the skin. Upon infection, the virus rapidly advances to the nearby lymph nodes. This is the structure of smallpox virus caused by variola virus. We have the outer membrane, the inner membrane, membrane core, the core, the lateral body, the DNA genome, the viral enzymes, and the surface viral proteins. The smallpox vaccine is the only known way to prevent smallpox in an exposed person. If given four days of viral exposure, the vaccine can prevent or significantly lessen the severity of smallpox symptoms. Vaccination four to seven days after exposure may offer some protection from the disease and may lessen its severity. Most people who get smallpox survive. However, a few rare varieties of smallpox are almost always fatal. This, this more severe forms most commonly affect pregnant women and people with impaired immune systems. People who recover from smallpox usually have severe scars, especially on the face, arms, and legs.